Hello, I'm Robert, and this time I want to talk about what happens when you use my programs with a secondary monitor on the Mac. Luckily, most people tend to plug the monitor in to the right of your primary monitor, and that's what works best, best with my programs. If you plug the monitor in to the left, then you will get uh, something like this happening. You try and move my windows onto your monitor and then you will find that it's, it's sort of, see how it pops back again? My program just won't let you move the windows off to the left. Now there's a reason for that. And the, the reason is that, that I found on, on testing on this Mac anyway, that if I plug the secondary monitor to the left and I move a window onto the secondary monitor, the window completely vanishes. There's no sign of it anywhere. So that's obviously going to be confusing. And I think this is something to do with the coordinate system, because on, it's just a guess, but on Windows, then you have this coordinate system for, for the way the pix pixels coordinates, which starts at zero at the top left, and increases left to right and downwards. It's, it's called a kind of reading order coordinate system. It's the same order in which you read uh, on a page. So increasing that way and increasing that way. And so the, the windows vanish in the wineskin if you move them into negative coordinates. So there must be some issue. I don't know for sure. It's just a guess, but it might be some issue with uh, translation of negative coordinates in the inside wine into whatever coordinate system the Mac uses. Anyway, for whatever reasons, that means that if it works absolutely fine if your secondary monitor is to the right. It also works fine if your monitor is below, although that's rather unusual. It, but the, they are likely to vanish if the monitor is above or to the left, so my program's default is just not permitting that just not permitting moving the windows onto the monitor. Of course, you can plug the monitor in wherever you like, you know, arrange it any way you like compared with the primary monitor, but you just won't be able to use bounce metronome with it. And then there's another restriction, and I have no idea at all why this is, but the, the 3D bounce, at least in bounce metronome, it seems to be slightly different with Lissage with 3D, this vanishes if I move it onto the secondary monitor, no matter where it is. So even if it's to the right or below, then the 3D bounce window completely vanishes. So this will get, will get stuck into the screen, even if you try and drag it over to the right, let go, then if I can do it, you'll see how it's, it, it's not backing in again. So it won't let you, let you move it anywhere off the primary monitor. And the same is also true for the main window. That again, and I have absolutely no idea why that is, the main window, it simply can't be shown anywhere except on the primary monitor. Now, this is me being cautious because it's possible, it's, it's defaulting to the worst case, because it's possible that you might find that on your computer that you can do it. Now, if you want to, if you want to experiment and see if you if you do have the possibility of moving the, the, these windows onto the secondary monitor then you need to go to advanced options now you need to be in advanced mode so we're, uh, if you're in newbie mode you won't see it so switch to advanced mode and then you want to go to this window and you want to be on the more version of this window and that's even going even more so i meant to go less so if you you, you see it like that originally go to the more version and then you go down here to the wine tweaks and then you can switch off the option to keep the main window in the primary monitor and to keep all the windows either in the primary monitor or to right or below those are the two things i was talking about and keeping the 3d window in the primary monitor so you can switch all those off one any of them individually or all, all three of them if you think there's a possibility that you might be able to do it and then you can just experiment and see if it works for you And so, so, so that, that's it, I think, for the, for the primary and secondary monitors, which is what I wanted to show you in this video. So that's it.